Netflix Original Presents How to Recreate Mysterious Netflix-Style Title Screen Using Vegas Pro Software Today's tutorial you will learn how to recreate mysterious Netflix-Style Title Screen using Vegas Pro Software and the best of all no plugin is required. Before I proceed, I highly recommend you guys to watch my full guide beginner tutorial using Vegas Pro Software so that you won't have difficulties when watching this tutorial. First thing first, you will need an assets in order to create the visuals. Since the intro has a dark crime kind of feel, you will need a photographic element that is related to the mood, like protester, dark alley, buildings, weapons or anything that is related. Second, you will need a newspaper texture to overlay above the photographic element and finally a film texture like grain or film strip to blend over the title. You can find these assets on Google but most likely the quality of the media won't be that great. So I got mine from Evanto Element. Evanto Elements is a website that delivers unlimited access to over 55 million assets such as stock videos, photos, music, templates and more. These assets can be used for client work, content creation, and even your own personal project. Asset use can be posted on various platforms without worries regarding on copyright issues and licensing. Avanto offers a nice simple license and your license still apply even after your subscription has ended. If you use the link in the description, you'll get 50% off when selecting an annual subscription. This will give you access to everything for less than $20 per month. Thank you to Avanto Element for sponsoring this video. First step, you will need to drag and drop the newspaper image into the timeline. I highly recommend to rename the video track so that we can easily monitor the track and keep our timeline organized. As you can see, some of the newspaper texture does not fit with our project aspect ratio. You can see black pillar at the side of the newspaper texture. To fix this, open pen and crop for the newspaper texture, right click and select match up to aspect ratio. This will automatically conform the size of the image to the project aspect ratio. You will need to repeat the same process for the other newspaper texture that has different aspect ratio size. Then drag and drop the photographic element to the timeline right below the newspaper video track. Rename the track to keep things organized. Repeat the same process by matching the media aspect ratio with the project aspect ratio. Once done, you can trim the photographic event to make it shorter in length and merge them together to make a crossfade. Do the same thing for the newspaper texture. Next, you need to animate the newspaper texture like it was moving. Simply open pen and crop, reposition the first keyframe and move the pen and crop gizmo away for the second keyframe. You can animate the newspaper to move from left to right or top to bottom as long as it's moving from point A to point B. You will need to repeat the same animation process for all of the newspaper texture. You can also animate the photographic element if you wish to. Once done, you want to change the blending mode for the newspaper video track to be multiply so that it blend with the photographic element below it. Then you want to convert the photographic element video track into child com so that the newspaper video track will become a parent video track. Next, you want to add new video track and rename it to text. Right click on the empty space and select insert text media. This will be our main titler so you can write anything you want. So I'm just going to type Netflix and choose bolder looking font. Make sure the text is white in color. Once you are happy with the text look, you need to readjust the length of the text event to fit with the entire length of the blended newspaper and photographic element video track below it. Then you want to convert the newspaper video track to become a child track for the text video track. Instead of the newspaper, you want to re-child it once again so that it will always become a child for the newspaper video track. So in the timeline, you will see something like this. Next, you want to open the newspaper parent track motion and scale down the blend element for the first keyframe. You want to scale it so that it fit nicely within the text size. In this case, I feel like the text is still too big. So I will open the titles and text and reduce the scale size. Now, reopen the parent track motion of the blend element and resize it again so that it fit within the text sizing. Once done, you want to go to the very end of the blended element event, reset the parent track motion to default. This will automatically add a keyframe in the timeline. So this two keyframe will create zooming effect for both newspaper and photographic video track. Once done, you want to open the text parent track motion and repeat the same process. Resize the first keyframe to make it smaller and reset the keyframe to default at the very end of the event. This will animate both text video track and blended element together from point A to B. Then you want to change the text video track blending mode into multiply so that the blended element below it will only be visible within the text boundaries. Next, add an adjustment track above the text video track. 
add color correct all effects onto the adjustment track and recolor the text to your liking. Then add a glow all effects and tweak the parameters till it looks good to you. Now we want to add film texture like film straight and scratch into our title. Add new video track above and drag and drop the texture into the timeline and change the blending mode to screen. You will do the same process for the other texture that you want to use. Final steps is to animate the text tracking. Just open the text generated media on the advanced tab, enable keyframe for that tracking properties. Make sure sync cursor is enabled so that the play hit is synced with the play hit in the timeline. As you can see, the play hit in the timeline stopped halfway because of the generated text media is only 5 seconds long. You can see small triangle cut out on the event, which indicate the event is looping after 5 seconds. Simply press match to event length to update the length of the event with its current length. Now, if you move the playhead till the end, the keyframe playhead will move till the end too. Simply add second keyframe at the end of the keyframe timeline and increase the tracking value slightly. Congratulations, you have just recreated the mysterious Netflix style titler just by using Vegas Pro software. I hope you guys like this video and if you have any question related, you can leave it down in the comment section. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye bye.